Yeah, now I know what you must be thinking. This must be Adidas's latest advert. Uh, no, uh, this is the real thing. I did a video blog about gait, sort of gait analysis, a little bit of stuff about limbs and kind of faults that we see. I also mentioned on that that I would do something about exercises. And I concluded that strength was a good place to be. So this little video is going to be about my favourite simple body weight strength exercises for runners. Um, you're going to notice a theme with them. Most of them are going to be single leg biased. My feet are going to be on the ground. Uh, with all of the exercises, even the floor exercise I'll show you, I'm going to drive through my uh, legs in what people call triple extension, kind of extension of ankle, knee and hip, I'm driving through that. I don't know about triple extension because going down on these exercises of course is triple flexion. And when we're running, you know you're three times your body weight when you hit the ground. Well that's kind of a flexion absorption. Um, so let's get straight to it. There's a saying, you'll never meet a Bulgarian with skinny thighs. The reason is this exercise. The Bulgarian split squat. Elevate the rear leg, good strong spinal posture, and down you go. Loading through your quads, through your glutes, keeping that strong pelvic posture as you go down. That is the Bulgarian split squat. So this second exercise looks the same, but it's a variation on that. Same starting posture. And what you're going to see me do is, I'm going to keep my knee relatively straight, because I'm going to go down almost into kind of like an arabesque position. This time it's much more hamstring dominant. Simple body weight exercise to mobilize and strengthen through the hamstring. Knee maintains just a small amount of flexion. I like the inline lunge. So make yourself a line. Make sure that your front foot is on that line, your rear foot is on that line, and it's in line, far enough apart so the rear knee can sit behind the front heel. This is a great pelvic stability challenge. I'm trying to keep my pelvis horizontal and strong, good spinal posture. I don't want my knee to collapse inwards. I could, if I want, use that stick down my spine just to maintain that posture. So that one is the inline lunge. This one we call a wall sprinter or a tree sprinter. What I'm going to do is get right down and then explode up. Right down and then explode up. All the way down, explode up. Getting through the ankle, getting through the knee, getting through the hip. The wall sprinter great spinal posture, explosive extension. Okay, so this is one of my favourite exercises, the floor up. It's uh, kind of similar to the sprinter in a way. What we're going to do is get in a nice strong posture, knee, hips, everything strong posture, drive up, hold and then down. Drive up, hold and then down, getting through ankle, knee and hip. You can change the demand by changing the timing, so I can go up fast, explosively, but down through the eccentric phase, slowly trying to control that fast up, slow down. Probably the best way to do that exercise. That's the floor up. You can e increase the demand of the floor up by elevating into a step position. Use an athletic step or a stump. And from here I can flex down deeper through the hip, deeper through the knee and still explode up into that triple extension. So it's kind of increasing the range of movement, not necessarily the load. That's the floor up. Be careful. Make sure you're uh, competent with the uh, standard floor up before you go to an elevated floor up. The plain floor sprinter is a great exercise, really quad dominant. It's going to burn them up. It's an old-fashioned exercise. You get into a sprinter start position and you drive through the upward leg, driving through with good spinal posture, snapping into it. You can see how the effort is really driving through my left quad. That's the floor sprinter. Great exercise. The plain squat just has to be in there. There's lots of variations of squats, overheads, back squats, all sorts. People tend to go to different ranges. 
I'm going to keep it really simple. I like one variation, the goblet squat, where you keep a weight really tight and close to you, just in front of your chest, and allow that to drive the squat pattern. So find any weight that kind of helps you fire up the posterior chain, makes the squat a little easier in terms of range of movement, and now I can hold that tight to me and drive down into my squat, driving down into my squat. So that's the simple goblet squat. Go down to your full range of movement. Everybody loves the crossbody D1, D2. Into here, open the hip out. Into here, open the hip out. Getting through my glute, my right glute in this case. But I think there's a better one for runners. I think find something like a wall or a tree. And this time, if I push really hard with my right leg against that tree, I'm just gonna push myself over. Don't let yourself go over. Brace this left leg. Okay, so I'm gonna push really hard. I'm bracing hard with the muscles on the outside of my hip here. And then I'm gonna drop down into my D1, D2. Back up, push super hard, drop down. There's the exercise, push, down. At all stage, I'm really getting that glute to work hard. So it's a rhythmical movement. That's a much better option. So that's a, a small selection of body weight strength exercises designed to get a strength component into your running training. So uh, I'll see you next time.